Here are five text effects you can pull off in DaVinci Resolve in seconds. Video in text. I have a few different layers here. I have a video clip, my text clip, and then another video clip. If I come to this top video clip in the inspector video, scroll down to composite and change this composite mode all the way down to foreground, nothing will happen at first. But if I then go to the text layer, do the same thing, make sure I'm on settings, scroll down to composite and change that to alpha, then we will see that top video clip just where that middle text layer was. And you can always toggle off that bottom text layer as well if you want and scale up that video clip, move it around, move around the text independently full control. There's one other quick method to make this effect. I have my background video, I have my text, and then I'm going to click this button to open the fusion page. And then in my media pool, if I drag that video clip, I want to be inside the text. I'm going to take the text, connect that to the blue input for that video layer, which is the mask input. And now that video is masked by that text. I'll take the square output of that, connect that to my media out, and then back over on the edit page, we will see uh, that video in the title as well. And you can even use these same text controls to adjust this video clip however you want. Typewriter effect. I'm going to open my effects library, titles, grab a text plus, drop that on my timeline. And if I change this to typewriter effect, I'm gonna scroll all the way down to this right on effect at the beginning of my clip. I'm going to set a keyframe, pull down this end, come forward a little bit, pull that end back up. And at the end, with a little bit of space left, I'm gonna set another keyframe and then come to the very end and pull this start all the way off as well. And now this will write on, hold, and then at the end, write off. Underline effect, I'm grabbing a new text plus, dropping that on my timeline, changing this to underline, and then I'm hopping over to the shading tab. Oh, first things first. And if I scroll down, I do have this emphasis option where I can select this underline and that looks all right. But if I have multiple words underlined, it creates a break there I don't really love. So if I uh, just type that in there, you'll see that. I'm gonna turn that off and head over to the shading tab. There is so much potential in the shading tab. I will link to a video going over this in more depth. But if I toggle on this second option, by default it is this red outline. But if I change this appearance to this border of fill option, we see it creates boxes. By default, this level is set to character. If I pull these horizontal, you'll see it's just behind each character. But if I change that to line, you'll see it is one single box for the entire line. And if I pull this down, this extend vertical and scroll down and slide this offset, you'll see now I have an underline that fits as much text as we push in here. Bonus tip, if I slide this back up a little bit and even rotate this just a hair and pull this priority up to front, we get a bit of a strike through effect, which you can adjust with color or extend this vertical. Tons of tons of options in the shading tab. Circle text effect. Again, a new text plus. I'm going to paste in some text here. And then if I hop over to layout, by default, this is set to a point. But if I change this to circle, it will start to warp that. And we have some really important controls. Of course, your center and your center Z to sort of push this in space. It kind of works like scale, but you know, it's, it's, a, it's a little different, um, especially with some rotation and other things. But if I pull down this width, you'll see it really starts to wrap around. And this fit characters option is really important to modify the look of that to get specifically what you're looking for. And then, hey, toggle on rotation. You can also spin this around that center as well. Text box control. This is less of an effect, but this is something Resolve couldn't do for a very long time. So even if you knew some of these other hints, this will be very useful. I'm gonna drop a blank uh, text plus back on my timeline, paste in a whole bunch of text. And by default, you see, oh, it pasted all in one long line. But if I hop over to layout, change this to text box, we have some new options. If I clip wrap to text box, then boom, that already pulls it up. And if I click clip, then it will cut off the top and bottom. And on the edit page, the thing you need to do here is come to this drop down and select fusion overlay. That will show you this actual box. So if you pull this up, you will see really both where that is clipping and how that wrap is working. You have some controls here, but that is again for the box. If you then come back to text and pull down size, you can all get this neatly in one text box that you can then uh, just using these controls or even right in this window. If you appreciate videos like this, you should visit sterlingsupply.co. This is my website where you can download dozens of presets, plugins, and effects for DaVinci Resolve. Many of these presets are completely free. Several are paid premium products and website members also receive a bundle of those premium products along with exclusive extras like in-depth breakdowns of my newest presets. 
why not check out my pack of drag and drop masks for the edit page. Easily choose from a variety of mask shapes or draw your own right in the viewer on the edit page. My ongoing work is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you.